I'm going to show you how to change a battery in a Polar FS1 heart rate monitor sport watch. First thing you're going to need is a small Phillips head screwdriver. There are four tiny little screws, one, two, three, four, at the corners of this little back plate. Go ahead and remove those. Okay, you can dump them out because they're just kind of sitting in there. Okay, now comes one of the harder parts. The edges of this back plate are underneath the uh, edges of the band. So what you're going to have to do is kind of pull the band out. And then you can get under the edge of the plate and kind of pry it out. There you go. Okay, now here's the battery. What you're going to need to do, there's a little clip that kind of holds the battery in. Just take a small screwdriver. Uh, let me see here. Just pull up that little clip. Take a little clip, set that aside. And then it's a CR2025 battery in here. So you just go ahead, pop that out. So you grab a new battery, it's a, again, it's a uh, 2025 battery, and you'll grab a new battery, just pop it into place. You'll have the writing part on top. Now you're going to take this little clip that you came out of there, the one edge, little pointed edge, is going to go down into this little opening here. Okay, goes under there. Yeah. It take a little bit to get it positioned here just right. Okay. And then the other end is going to snap into position over on the other side of the battery. If I can get it to stay there. <laughs> there we go. So now you're going to go ahead and take the back, and there's a little gasket, a little rubber gasket that goes around the outside here. You're going to make sure that that's all just seated down in there. Now there's a little spring right here, and you're going to want that spring to line up with the back with this little spot right here. So that little spring right there needs to line up with this little hole there so it makes contact with the back. And then you're going to have to pop the back in. Again, it's going to need to go under the edges of the band. So you're going to have to pull the band out and get it under there and snap it into place. Now take the little screws, the four little screws, and the way I found best works with that, kind of put the screw on the end of the little screwdriver, the little Phillips screwdriver, and kind of hold it into place with the tip of your finger. Insert it into the hole, and then screw it into place. 
and just do that with each of the other three screws. Once you've replaced the battery, you're going to go through the normal steps of resetting the time. Just go ahead and follow the manual for that. And you're all done.